Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. for my producer. We're going to go live here one minute. That's fine. And they're waiting for me to come in after the commercial. Okay. Sounds great. I'm ready. Okay. I am too. I'm waiting <laughs> for my runway call. Here we go. Good morning, Dallas. Thanks for staying with me. I hope you loved my previous interview about not having kids. Some of you guys say you really love that. I saw you on Facebook. <laughs> now we're going to turn our... Um, attention a little bit. We're going to talk about life health with Dr. Mia Finkelston. Dr. Finkelston, welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Tell me about your topic. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about allergies and start by telling you that when I talk with my patients that I see virtually using the Live Health Online um, app and website, that they want to be prepared for this allergy season. You know, understand what type, type of year they're bothered. You know, those with spring allergies are probably starting to feel it already. And be prepared now because it's going to start kicking in in the next couple of weeks. Be sure they clean their bedrooms, you know, change out their pillows, wash their bedding, their curtains, take an assessment of what rug floor coverings they have and maybe wash those too. And understand where to get information about any local pollen forecasts if they think that would be helpful. Okay, so as the allergy season comes on, I have a question that someone's going to take off of Facebook. They want to know when they're watching the local news and it talks about pollen, cedarwood, or whatever area you're in, mm -hmm. is that something they need to pay attention to? I think so, because, you know, allergies can affect upwards of 20 million Americans in the United States. I mean, that's a significant amount of people. Whether it's just a runny nose or a headache or fatigue, I mean, these are significant symptoms for most people. So it's good to know what is running high. It's good to know how to avoid it, meaning, you know, keep the windows closed and maybe don't exercise or be out, outdoors during those peak times. So, yes, keep your ears open for sure. Oh, that's great to know. You guys, I hope you're listening, making note of that because it comes on the news every day. Okay, so change my, change, we're supposed to change out our bedding, change out our pillows. Should we buy new pillows and should we be sleeping on down pillows? <laughs> I think that really depends on your reaction. You know, everyone's a little different. Allergies are unique, so understand what sets you off. Um, sometimes you can just wash pillows depending on what they're made of, and, and sometimes it is time for a new one. So just check that out. As far as bedding, you can just wash that. You know, you don't want to have to buy anything every, you know, every season. Okay. Give, me, give us some other tips because those are some sure. good ones. Sure. Well, you know, once you're in the allergy season, we're not all good at preventing things. How do you take care of that? And I think something that people forget about is good old salt water. You know, going underwater in the ocean is a great way to clean out your nose. I think we've all been there before. So make your own salt solution or buy a pre-made formula over the counter and use it. It's a great way to get rid of nasal irritants and use it multiple times a day. There's really not too much of that. You know, you can't use too much of that, I should say. In addition, over the counter, you can get nasal steroids, which used to be prescription up to about a year or two ago. Um, these take a day or two to kick in, but can be very useful for people who get significant head congestion and runny nose, post-nasal drip. And then, of course, there are oral antihistamines, and they're available over the counter. When you take those, they usually kick in within about a half an hour to an hour. So experiment, because what works for one person may not work for the other. So a little bit of trial and error there. But there are you know, medicines you can use to help. Okay, going to take this Facebook question. The question is, doctors are telling us to get comparable drugs that are not prescription over the counter. Mm -hmm. But when I get to the pharmacy, they're in different strengths, different brands. How do I know to make the decision? Well, if you don't know yourself, then maybe you should check in with one of the doctors, like myself, who sees patients through LiveHealthOnline.com. 
we are all U.S.-based, board-certified physicians available 365 days of the year, 24-7, to answer questions like that. So to educate, to also treat, you know, we can come up with diagnoses with the patient, um, treatment plans, as well as write a prescription, or I'm sorry, send a prescription in to a pharmacy that the patient has selected, if that's indicated. Um, and we're here so that patients can um, access us, the comfort of their own home, the privacy when it's good for them. Um, we handle most common non-emergency medical problems, such as allergies, bug bites, skin irritations, talking about medication you know, amounts and, and what, it, what would be good for you based on the rest of your medical history. We also have treated colds, flus, pink eyes, sinusitis, you name it. So very convenient for patients. And if so anyone has a question, they can certainly reach out to livehealthonline.com for more information about that. Because that's one of my questions on my screen. You want to know, do you need to be a member of, the, of Live Health, or how do you use it? How do you get into it? Yep. Well, go to livehealthonline.com for more information. But put simply, consumers can simply access the doctors by using their smartphone or tablet with an app, um, or go to the computer, as long as it has a webcam, and connect when it's convenient for them. So it's very easy to navigate you know, for, for the consumers. And then they can ask these questions directly to a live you know, um, educated physician to give them answers on anything they want to ask, really. That's great. It's easy, and it sounds easy to use. I'm going to have to go there and check it out. I want to thank sounds you, Dr. Good. Finkelstein. And once again, give me that website for my audience. Certainly. It's livehealthonline.com. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks.